let's go on an adventure. Okay. Awesome. So we're here on the Betty Deering Trail, up off of Will Acre Park, walking up to uh, check out the sunset. So how you doing, baby? Okay. Yeah, you wanna race? <laughs> Rich and Jess continued their heroic ascent to the top of the mountain. So high, in fact, that most people make it there. So now we're coming to the point where uh, we go up this trail here and we go into the field. Let's go into the field. Now we're here in a field, as you can see. It's amazing. Here, let, 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 me, let me get a shot of you taking a shot of the bird which is in its mind taking a shot of us. I didn't see the hawk. I just saw the uh, raven. Last time we were here, there was a hawk flying around, I guess, looking for prey. And uh, one of these ravens was actually uh, dive bombing him. I guess they're having fun. It's just steam, that's all. Almost there. There we go. Made it. I can see the sun, cool. This is one of the old spots I used to hang my hammock at. I love the trees here, they're so amazing. But I used to hang it right between this tree and that tree. See, she's been looking for geodes because we found she found this one rock. That was this one was really round and I have this magnet out of one of those flashlights you shake to charge them. I pulled the magnet out, it's really powerful, and I put it up to the rock, it's like I was like, wow. I was like, here, man, if you find any magnetic rocks, they could be, they could be a meteorite. I hear meteorites are worth a lot of money, so I was like, let's find those things. Here, that would be cool to find one, wouldn't it? You're becoming the expert on uh, rocks. So you're, you're kind of a rock star. We might actually get to see the sunset. We started out pretty late. We started out at probably seven o'clock. This is the place where Jessica took that great picture of that owl. It was in uh, one of the trees. See, I don't know about most people. I know like a lot of people like they're like, oh, let's go to the gym and work out. And I'm totally not about going to the gym to work out. This is like, yeah, this is my workout. We're looking at the valley, San Fernando Valley behind me. And that as we look over this way behind me is Mahalo Drive.
instead I come up this other trail that we've just come down. This is a cool spot. So many people have come into this tree and like carved their names. You can see all the names over the years from like probably the 1960s. Look at that, so all, all the different uh, people that have been here at one point or another, leaving their marks. All the way up the tree. Here we come to another hill. It's not a big hill. There's just something really cool about this place. You could say the uh, the feeling or the spirit of this place is really, really peaceful and really uh, a little bit magical. Oh, here we go, the sun's hitting your face. There we go, it's the sun. And you know what a little cool thing is too? Is the bench. Let me take you to the bench. Because they completely cleared this out. This was all like overgrown before. And the main trail is right down there. So you're never too far from civilization, but you're far enough away that you don't feel like you're in civilization, which I think is the main point of it. So we didn't miss the sunset after all. Rich and Jessica almost at the top of the Laker Park. Are you coming, hun? So this is the crazy tree I was coming up here to check out. Besides the view and stuff, I, I love this. I love trees. But you know, it's really not as pretty as you. Oh. Or your pictures of this very same scene that we're looking at here. I don't know how she does it. Space of the head of hers is the most incredible supercomputer ever. And then you put something like this in her hands. <laughs> she will take that and turn it into like Never Never Land. You'll never ever want to be anywhere else. So we're going back before it gets dark. You're too sweet. I guess that's a thing. Who exactly is Betty Deary? That's going to be something we're going to have to figure out. He made a mark on, on history and a mark on this city that I have a lot of respect for that. That she managed to keep this beautiful part, you know, like a part for everyone to enjoy rather than allowing it to get all like, you know, homogenized and build up. I keep hearing the screeching owls. I wonder if we'll see any tonight. I think that's like squirrels and stuff. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Jessica doesn't like bats. I, I tried to assure that they're totally harmless. They won't they don't get caught in your hair and they don't suck your blood. Those are urban bits. They will not hurt you. I promise. It's getting dark last remnants of the sunset. You think she knew the city would get so, uh, you know, 
concentrate is and put all these lights? I don't know. Do you, do you think? I don't know. I don't know that she uh, even existed. Yeah. Well, no, she existed. Did she? Yeah. Why is she so hard to find? She's supposed to be in the park somewhere. She doesn't go out walking. She's a big time ghost. I don't know. You like taking pictures of me taking pictures? How about you take pictures of me taking pictures of you taking pictures of me? Although I can't really see you as well. There we go. I'm going to make you an outline. Perfect. Here, I'll get your shadow walking toward me. Keep coming. I can see you perfectly. Oh, no, that's trippy. All right, so we're almost to the main trail. I can't see anything through here. <laughs> there he is. Creepy spider. Creepy spider. Here he goes. Creep along the road. Oh, they like you. Animals like you. <laughs> now he's coming this way. Oh no. Oh, here he goes. Here he comes. So that concludes our adventure. Did you have a good time, honey? Yes, it did. Awesome.